I brought us handcuffs. I'm drunk, but I'm not stupid. I don't want to encourage drinking, but... I do. Just... I'm a big fan of pulling trig. I... <laughs> <laughs> we used to live in the same neighborhood as Shaq. I think Allie is my only girlfriend that I've, like, never flirted with. We went on a date. What do you mean? <laughs> well, yeah, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to the podcast band. We're so happy and lucky to have you here today. St. Patty's Day. Not seeing a whole lot of green around here. I'm gonna get some pinches in. Today we have a guest. I already let them in on the Oh lore. wow, did you already did the whole intro? Yeah. Did you say welcome to band? I did. Wow. <laughs> okay. I think. <laughs> Did you introduce yourself? Oh, no, I didn't. I'm Ali Cat. Yeah, if you all don't remember, um, Allie's from the best podcast that I did where I messed up the audio. Yeah. But so by far back. the best. Yeah. I, Judge of asked me this the other day. He was like, what do you think the best podcast you've done so far is? I was like, my opinion or by the numbers? And he's like, both. I was like, by the numbers, the ones I've done with you. My mm-hmm. opinion, the one I did with Allie and Brittany. <laughs> That's so nice. It, it, was, it depends on how you measure success, I guess. Exactly. Ah. It was just so funny. And like you all, especially you two together, it's just, yeah. oh, it's a riot. My feet are peeling. Already? No, they have been. Did I you mention where we're, where we're at right now? No. Uh, oh I said goodness. it was St. Patty's Day. Okay, good, I good, didn't good. mention where we were. Yeah, so today's St. Patrick's Day. There they, there's our friends. There's Jojo. <laughs> where, you see him? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Uh, Kevin yeah, we're, was hopping up and down <laughs> like a bunny. I saw him. We're actually at Universal's Cabana Bay. Yeah. Not sponsored, not hosted. I, I wish. I've been here before. You've been here? Oh. No, I haven't. Not to Cabana Bay. There's a helicopter flying over us right now. Orlando's such a f- phenomenal city. I know. Isn't it? You see that guy? He's not wearing green. I'm going to pinch him. Oh. <laughs> um, listen, today we're just going to yap. Yeah. I think I think yapping is going to become my format for podcasts. I don't really want to keep doing things about topics. Yeah. I just want to yap with my friends. We have plenty to yap about. We do all the time without a camera on us. So. That's what I'm saying. We just drove here for like 30 minutes and we were just talking nonstop. Yeah, but none of them were really coherent thoughts. Yeah, but it's also just how we are. Yeah. But I do want to say one thing that we talked about in the car. We we used to live in the same neighborhood as Shaq. We did. <laughs> Do you want to tell yeah. them the story that you just told me? Yeah, so we were driving through this neighborhood just now, and like my jaw was dropping. Also, before you keep going, we are drinking today, and I want to, I don't want to encourage drinking, but I do. This is some ASMR right here. It's St. Patty's Day. Hold on, um, hold on. One here of my is. favorite days of the year. I've had some pretty good. Say- yeah, that first sip feeling. Let's see it. Let's yeah. see it. We've lost him. He's gone. That's so so good. we're driving through this neighborhood that I haven't driven through in a while because I moved out of that neighborhood. Um, when I first moved to Orlando in 2021, I was going with one of my roommates to get, she was getting her like tags on her car or whatever. So we drove through that. It's winter garden, like whatever yeah. DMV that is. <laughs> and there's all these mansions I have not seen before in North Carolina. And so I'm like, Whoosh, shoot, like I'm going to go home. I'm going to Google this area and just like go on Zillow. That's what I, I wanted to see how much obviously, they were. Obviously. So I went on Zillow and I saw one house that was like, 16 million dollars it's like that's a little too cheap i would say for some people (laughs) so i'm going through the pictures and i see a basketball court and like that's an oddly specific thing so obviously this belonged to an nba player obviously um i didn't think it was the player (laughs) and i'm going through it and i see another picture and it's like a basement i guess i don't i actually just made (laughs) that part up it just seemed like it was huge it looked like a department store it was all glass and gold and I think it was in a diamond, just an S. And I was like, oh, my God, this is Shaq. He lives right <laughs> down the street from me. And so I found an article. Cause I, of course, I Googled, like, Shaq Orlando, Florida house. Yeah, you have to. What else? Uh, that's all you need. And, yeah, Shaq used to live in Winter Garden. The mansion was up for sale. I think it sold, like, last year, maybe the year before. Like, it was on the market for a while because $60 million. That's just I mean, crazy. Nobody wants a house for that price. They want, like, 17 up. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 16 like, dude. I mean, that's that's rookie numbers. Yeah, I, it wasn't that impressive. Yeah, like if you're Shaq, dude, are you serious? Like, yeah. You own Papa John's. Get it together. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, before we go into two more, too many more stories, did you tell them about how the podcast is also available on audio? No. Yeah, I didn't know on, that. You didn't. You didn't tell me that. We're on Spotify. Let's talk about it. Anywhere you can get your bo- podcast, you can get banned. You can get it on Spotify, mm. Apple Podcasts. If you don't want to watch. 
which I will say I encourage you to do so because today is a very special v- podcast. Yeah, we're glowing right now. Not only are we glowing, not only are we on location, not only is Allie in a bikini. Yeah, <laughs> that part. Helping the views. But today, as you said before, it's St. Patrick's Day. We're going out with all our friends. We're going to go to the Zed concert. We're going to go drink. So, because we're trying to tan, we're not going to talk that long. We're going to go for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. And then the, le- the rest of the podcast, vlog format. Wow. That's right. I'm gonna I didn't sh- know we were doing that. I'm going to take them along. You're going to see us at the Zed concert. You're going to see us drinking. You're going to see us drunk. Like, this is going to be a good podcast. Yeah, and we, like... I mean, I like to go out and drink, like, mm-hmm. at least once a week, probably. Like, I'm pretty accustomed to that. Yeah. But you don't do that once a week. So, no. and I never post content when I'm, like, drinking. Yeah, I normally don't either. I don't hide that I do that because I'm very open about it. But, yeah, we don't usually do that. Yeah, like, if I'm, if I'm blacked out, which I put I on my story. I can't even touch my phone. <laughs> which I put on my story that I wanted to be. Um, I'm not going to post it online. That's crazy. Yeah. But. Just as being silly, goofy people yeah. as we are, oh yeah, well, let them know. That's what we do. And to the fun, because this is there's a the thing. It's what everyone does. Yeah. It's what most people do. So like to act like it doesn't happen exactly. to hide it, it's not genuine. Yeah. It's not authentic. I think there was a point in time where like influencers and YouTubers, whatever, they were so like just like pure in their ways Mm -hmm. and now it's we have the alex earls exactly and we have i don't uh this there's one girl that i follow on tiktok her name's bryn she does like makeup and stuff and she's always like taking shots on her life well i don't know if you can do that but she's like always (laughs) drinking and like posting that she's drinking and that's just not something we have seen i feel like i haven't seen no i think it's in like past years but more recently people are starting to open up like yeah we do drink we're normal and it's all it's a fine if you don't drink but partying and like that it's been i feel like it's looked down upon yeah but because the thing is like it's like you don't have to always be drunk you can just be social drinking oh yeah deal i drive all the time so half of the time when i'm out i'm not drinking yeah it's just a quick you know i'll get a give me a vodka crayon give me a long island Ooh, not vodka crayon what? That messed me up. Halloween of 2022 oh messed me up. It's so funny. Tampa. I never come <laughs> back from Tampa alive. Here's the thing. It's so funny to me because I didn't start drinking for a while. Like, I basically didn't start drinking until I was 21. So, like, hearing other people say stories about, like, certain alcohols, like how I now have one with tequila, like, mm. it's just so funny to me. And here's the thing. Where you you want to tell that story? Have you told it yet? I have, actually. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, I told it. But the plan is tonight... To make more stories. We're making stories tonight. I have a story. I have stories about every St. Patty's Day. But yeah. What was uh, this Tampa story with the vodka uh, cream? What happened? So it's not. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> it was great. So actually, I, I don't remember. I had my own podcast from that night. Okay. Let me tell you the story. And then. What? I don't know where my phone went. But. Oh, it's right over here. Okay. So I we need to do it today. Because I always forget. I get drunk and i record podcasts on my phone i have like a 12 minute podcast with ferris wow, from patty's really? from like a, probably a year ago at this point oh my God, we have just to do it yapping. i'm just interviewing him yeah because i want my own podcast i'll get there one day no you will um so i went out with my friends in tampa because i had a friend who lived in st pete so we were just gonna stay at his place and then just like party we went to like it was like house show music which i don't really or house music yeah <laughs> Allie's towel me. fell. I'm sorry, that's so. Oh, that's oh, embarrassing. Yikes. Just leave it like that. My behavior is erratic yes. right now. <laughs> so we went to like a show. They were playing house music, which I didn't really vibe with. And it was like a fifty dollars show in Tampa. Like it was packed to the rims. And me and my friend, we were dressed as Vidya and Tinkerbell. Oh, okay. So we're, we're wearing wings, and like they're just like knocking everybody. So yeah. we're like, let's go. It's like a collective of of parties basically going on in this one area so we're like let's go to this other one and so we walked out and there was like nobody there and they're the dj's playing whatever we wanted really yeah like i had i'm pretty sure i have snapchat memories of me just being like jack harlow ariana grande doja cat like no he was, way. it was like a the pay the pay the fifty dollars just to get into this place was so worth it just for that That's i don't remember sick. what it was don't ask me you i don't remember a, you paid a fifty dollar cover fee Mm-hmm. Well, we bought tickets to the show. I guess it's a show. It was like a DJ. Okay, I was going to say, because you're a girl. I feel like most girls don't mm-hmm. have to pay cover fees. No, it wasn't. We bought 
prior to the show is what okay. we did. Okay. And so we're like, at that point, we're just walking around looking for a place. We find this place. And then at that point, the vodka crayons, they come flowing. And I wasn't so keen on vodka crayons at that time. Like, I had already done my, my time with drinking those. <laughs> but it's just what we were getting. Like, my friend was getting them. And I think we we're all on one tab. So we're just all, like, just getting the same thing. And they yeah. tasted so, like, sweet and, like, fake. Ooh. You know, they were so syrupy yeah. and it was, I don't drink a whole lot of sweet drinks. Like for me, this is like the sweetest it gets. And it's just like a truly punch. Really? Yeah. Like I don't, they mess up my stomach. They make me feel bad. So I was drinking all these vodka crayons and I don't really feel like I had that much to drink. The Uber drive home. I'm like, oh no. It in. I'm like, oh my God, this is bad. And I lay down in bed and then all of a sudden it's just like, erupts like i have never because i'm a big fan of pulling trig I, <laughs> I don't care if i have had like three drinks if i feel nauseous Pull. i am pulling trig that's crazy I've i never do been not to. like feeling that way i used to not be like that and it's probably not healthy but i mean if it's only like every once in a while but this was before that whole pulling trig thing so yeah. i'm just like the room is spinning i just like throw up and then i go i run to the toilet my friend, I knew that. The, what are those? <laughs> Where did you get those? I just put I on my my running sunglasses. Oh, ew! You wear those when you run? Yeah. Are you like Tron or something? <laughs> <laughs> They're so nice. They like cover my peripherals. Shit. Well, these ah, just turn, they turn everything green. The drunk goggles are down. The drunk, <laughs> that's what I call them. That's what I call them. Um, so, not very long story shortened my friend goes into the freezer and i'm like and my head is in the toilet pulls out a water bottle she goes hey i got this from the freezer drink it water and i'm, I'm thinking i'm drunk but i'm not stupid i might tell a lie but i'll never tell a joke uh. and i'm like freezer this is absolutely vodka oh no but i was way. just so like I knew it in my head, but I still took a swig of it, and it was just straight up vodka in a water bottle. Svetka, I think no. is what it was. Is that, yeah, that's vodka. And I was like, it's alcohol. Bleh. And I had already at this point, they handed me, after that, they handed me a glass of water. I dropped it. It shattered. Same thing. I went back into the bedroom. Glass of water. I don't even think I really did it this time. I think it was a ghost. But somehow it just <laughs> it wasn't dropped, me. and it shattered. But I do have a voice memo from that night. And I know you're all dying to hear it. <laughs> well, hold this on. This was me and my friend Chris. While you're pulling it up one second, I'm going to make sure the cameras are still rolling. Because we are filming outside. And the thing with filming outside is means cameras overheat. And when cameras overheat, we lose footage and we can't be doing that anymore. I don't want to do it. But it looks like we're still A-OK. -okay. Okay. Oh, it was Sky. That's what it was. I was like, oh, welcome back to the podcast. Um, and then... My friend Chris was like, I put some Sky in you. And I was like, huh? I didn't know <laughs> what the fuck he was talking about. And he was like, yeah, Sky Vodka. And I was just like, Bleh! And no. then he started singing High School Musical. But damn. Wow. Here's the other thing. And I feel like, I don't know who I was talking to about this. I don't know where this segue came from. But you said your friend Chris. Yeah. Um, I was telling my friend the other day, I was like, I think Allie is my only girlfriend that I've like never flirted with. We went on a date. What do you mean? Well, yeah, but like... <laughs> <laughs> Caught. Caught in 4K. But the thing is, I was telling... Oh, I was, and I was telling JoJo about it because I was like... Mm -hmm. I was like, no, Allie invited me to go to the gym. I was like, dude, she's like yeah, the Yeah, and then I didn't go, but yeah. that's neither here nor there. But I, was I like, had my like reasons. She's like the perfect, like, girlfriend that I've never had. Because, mm -hmm. like, you do all the same things as guys. Like, you're like, hey, we're going to this sports bar yeah. to come watch the game. You're like, hey, let's go to the gym together. Hey, let's go tan. I'm like, dude, this is it. I'm like, why did it take us so long to be, become closer? I know. I don't, I get that a lot, actually. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> no, when I was in Nashville <laughs> with some of my friends, I don't think you've met Malik. You would love Malik. <laughs> but he was like, you're like, a, you're, a, you're like a dude. And I was like, <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> and he goes, no, you're like one of the guys because you like sports and you like, you know, we can just like talk. And I'm like. I just never, were those always on? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just put them on. Um, I don't know. I was right. Uh, we talked about this a little in the last podcast. I was, I have two brothers and I'm like, 
I'm very close with both my parents, but I'm very close with my dad, and I'm my father's daughter, like yeah. through and through. So, and we were also kind of talking about this in the car, where like we weren't always the the dimes we are now. So no. I had plenty of years to develop my personality. Yeah, we we this, we didn't start with this. We built this. Yeah, this is built brick by yeah. brick. Yeah, yeah, seriously, built brick by brick, but. I'm from North Carolina, so like basketball, college basketball has always has been a huge deal. Go Heels, by the way. They yeah. lost last night, but we'll still get them. I can't wait because March Madness comes around. I already know you and me are going to be at the bars. Yeah. Watching the games. I know. And we're going to do brackets. They happen way too fast during March Madness for me to go every night. But once we get to like the like serious like ACC tournament, like I, yeah. UNC is doing really well this year. So we'll go. But I, I just realized that. A couple when I moved to Florida, like everyone really likes football here in the NFL, and from you know, the Carolinas, like yeah. we have the Panthers. They're yeah, not, you can't really be a fan. <laughs> yeah, they're not too great. But I've always been an Eagles fan because my dad is from the North. So um, go birds! Go birds! It's just so much easier for me to like go out and meet people because I like being social, and like just go out watch games, and have a good time. Yeah, it's just so nice, and it's also just crazy to me because like I'm an Eagles fan because of Wawa, Move faster, because they like. We got people yelling out here, man. Come on, ladies. Good information. <laughs> this is St. Patty's Day. Yeah, so it's just so nice. And speaking of our friendship, we recently just got tattoos together. Yeah, we did. This was, you're the first person I've ever gotten tattoos with. Really? Yeah. Really? You've always gotten them alone? Yeah. I think time. I've only gotten one alone. Really? Yeah, it was the one on the back of my elbow. Oh, I was going so through I mean, it. I just had to get one. Not that special. That's cool. Wow. <sighs> That's crazy. Hate to see it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got two bunny rabbits for my grandpa on the side of my hand. I'll put a picture in. And you got? Yeah, well, I got a little heart on my palm just because, okay, here's the thing about me. I also <laughs> got one on the back of my neck that says Luce de Sole, which... Growing up, my dad had a photography business, and that was the name of it. It's Italian for sunlight, so that was really pretty. I cannot help, but I have to get, like, two tattoos at a time. And I mean, like, within the same month is typically, except for my first one. What happened? There was a bug flying on your drink, so I <laughs> went to, like, shoot off. Did it go in my drink? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Ew, <I can't> <laughs> you're gonna need another one i'm gonna have to take a video of that <laughs> um so i always i just end up getting two anyway so i got two at the same time hoping it wouldn't happen and then i got a new one yesterday yeah ali t ali calls me at like what like one or two a.m it was two, we were outside of cowboy so it was past two a.m and she goes she goes yeah te oh well no you texted me first i was on the phone with Brittany, and you start texting me and you're like you're like hey tattoos tomorrow yeah and i was like i was like yeah i bet i thought that you were kidding so i was I just doubling was so i was just doubling down just playing into the bit and i was like yeah duh and you're like okay perfect tomorrow 1 p.m i was like with dylan and john yeah and i was talking to Brittany on the phone i go is i serious or is she drunk both. she goes uh she's probably drunk she's at cowboys and i was like okay it was both but then you call me <laughs> and you're like dead serious and then the next morning you text me at noon and you're like, hey, are you coming? I was like, oh my god, she's like dead serious. She's gonna get another tattoo after she's already got one. After she's already got two this week. Yeah, I couldn't help my. I just, I just love tattoos. I've always been, ever since I was a minor, <laughs> I've just wanted tattoos. Okay. And like piercings, I don't really care about. I have my ears pierced, and that's a story in itself. Where like I got them pierced when I was a kid, and then didn't wear them, and got them re-pierced when I was like 22. Oh. Yeah, like, I don't really care about that. But for whatever reason, tattoos, I have always wanted. Interesting. So, the opportunity to get a tattoo, I'm in. That's what I tell people. I've had so many people slide up on when I got my tattoos with you specifically. They're like, why didn't you invite me? I will always say yes to getting a tattoo. Yes, I'm not going to I will say always no. say yes. I love them. So, you have to... You had to come to me. Yeah. Because I'm... And it wasn't even my idea. It was Dylan's idea. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just interesting to me that you always are ready and, like, have another one ready to go. Like, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah I know the next one I want and where. This one took some time, and it's actually one of my favorite ones now, which is crazy. Yeah. But I knew that I wanted this one and the one on my hand. 
And I really, I want hand tattoos, like, really bad. I love, like, hand, re- tattoos. I love hand tattoos. I think they are, like, top tier placement. Yeah. And at this point, like, yeah, I think they're still kind of somewhat of a job killer. But give it, like, five more years, and it just, I don't think it will be. I mean, once once I saw that Disney was okay with tattoos, I was Exa- like, yeah. the world's becoming more normalized. Like, what, what about a tattoo on your hand says I can't have a good job, says I'm not smart? Like, yeah. It's crazy. They're just, ah, oh, I just love it. So I started on my palm, and then with this one, I didn't decide on what I wanted until probably an hour before I went. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, well, the thing was like... And it hurt. This on your wrist? Yeah, yeah, that one hurt. It hurt closer to the bone. Like yeah, the no, that, it hurts when it gets there. That's the thing that up people don't realize, because we took Brittany with us when we went. Yeah. And she doesn't have any tattoos, but she says that she wants one. So the whole time, she's obviously watching us do it and asking us, like... Does it hurt? How is it? This one that I got, the bunny rabbits, this tattoo probably hurt the least I have any tattoo I've ever gotten. And it's basically right on my palm, basically. Like, especially if you're just getting an outline tattoo. Yeah. Or just, like, letters, like, just one lines. They're really not bad at all. They're really not. I've had the one on the back of my neck. I thought it was going to hurt because the one behind my ear was the weirdest feeling I've ever felt. Like... It was, like, the most intense, like, neck kiss you've ever <laughs> had. Like, it tingles like that, but it also hurts because yeah. it's right there. And I was forewarned about that, but I just was, like, whatever. So I thought the one on the back of my neck would feel the same. And that one, probably one of my most least painful tattoos, if not my least painful That's one. crazy. And, like, the thing that gives people is shading. When you shade your tattoos, that's, that's what, what hurts. That's what, that's what we were. So, John, our friend who went with me. John Ross. To John Ross to get a tattoo and not Jason because he didn't go. Oops. He that was his first one, and he was like, "I just need to rip the bandaid off." To, and that's, I don't know. Maybe we should talk about the story of the like the first time we got a tattoo because I had always wanted them, but I was scared that I would like what you know regret it because that's what everyone says. Right. And Darla, my friend who was tatted <laughs> from head to toe, yeah. she hits me up at like 9 p.m. on a random weekday, and we she's like, Darla. "Do you want? We love Darla." Um, she's moving back. Well, she's announced it. She's moving oh, back. Oh yeah. no She'll way! She'll be back next month. Yeah. Really. <laughs> For good or like what? Um, so I believe that she is keeping her house in Georgia for now and just like kind of going back and forth. But she has a place here. Woo! Yeah, so Darla is so excited. Look at Darla back. I know, finally. But she hit me up and she said, hey, do you want to get tattoos at like 9 p.m.? And I'm like, you know what? Yes, I do. Yeah, you I want, do. So fact, we yeah. went to like this sketchy shop. I don't even know the name of it. It was a 24-7 shop. Yep, and I got the the little butterflies, pixie and dust, and it was all I had for like the longest time. Wow! Until I got the one on my my rib cage, and then I took a pause before I got this one. And after I got this one, it was just like full rain. Yeah, I can't stop. Well, that's the thing that's so funny about like our friendship is we both have butterfly tattoos. Mm-hmm. You recently got the, the dragon around, yeah, around your forearm, which is the next one I'm getting. Yeah. So listen, you just keep copying my tattoos, like that's not even how it happened. You don't even have the dragon tattoo. Yeah, just, but I'm getting it, and it's always planned. Yeah, no. See, there's no pull at the receipts. I'll get some records. You out. deleted the chat. I can't wait. I'll probably maybe I'll do a po- oh I can do a podcast where I'm getting a tattoo. See, I was gonna say that that we oh. should do. It. Well, I don't have to be a part of it, but like that would be sick. No, you and should. You know, that's cool. we went to this tattoo parlor salon shop whatever it's called <laughs> salon. And we were making friends with everybody oh we were cracking them up in there and when i went back to see them you know four days later <laughs> they were like where's jason and i was like oh he ain't here he yeah. was invited though but he's not here yeah so we were just like chatting away they would love it they would i felt so bad because i wanted to go just to like hang out even though, I, even though i wasn't gonna get one but i was so exhausted i don't know what's been going on this week i they're not this week Ever since my birthday weekend, I've gotten the least amount of sleep I've ever got in my life. Well, the time changed, and I feel like that's been fucking with people. Like, I I had a hard time waking up this morning. That's why I was, like, 20 minutes, 30, 40 minutes later than yeah, I thought I, I was going to be. I was like, Allie, the UV index is only at a peak for certain long. I know, long. and I'm always go. on time. I'm never late. But I had, I changed my alarm in the middle of it, like, waking me up to, like, an hour later than I was supposed to wake up because I was so exhausted for no reason. Speaking of changing, um, for a thumbnail, and because it's a band, yeah, I brought us handcuffs. Pink for me. Pink handcuffs in particular. Sweet. Um, (laughs) (laughs) What are you trying to ask me right now? We're going to put these on. 
You're gonna be cuffed to one. I'll be cuffed to the other. Listen, you, you, have... you do cosplay. Like this is right up your alley. That's not what I do. <laughs> okay, this opens up a whole <laughs> other can of worms because I get asked all the time, and it's not a big deal. Like I, I understand it. But John asked me yesterday, like, what animes do you like? I don't watch anime. Like that, you will look at all my. I have a few that are like, like animes. You're the most fake cosplayer ever. No, well, no, because I do like cartoons and like characters. I actually all the cosplays I do are characters I love and things that I've seen. Oh. I'm not going to do something I haven't seen. Yeah. That so that's why there's some. Most of the time, I like too. rewatch what I do before I do it. Why are you shaking? You I'm trying to be careful with your tattoo. Oh, it's fine. I like this pink. I have some. I almost wore them, but I didn't wear you my pink bathing suit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to pair my own. Clip that on. chat. I actually Clip do. That. They're not fuzzy, but they're just pink. And okay. I've, I don't think I've, I may have used them like once, but they just like not. For what? A, p- a podcast. That's what everyone uses handcuffs for. Right. Not yeah. any other kind of video? No, it was not a video. Right, right, <laughs> It right, was right. not a video. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. We're going to see how long we can go with it. Because I had this idea. You're hogging Ow. Space. I had this idea of, like, doing, like, all my podcasts like this. Because, like, the thing about making a podcast is, like, the only thing that's different about it from the other one is you. Yeah. So, like, what if I did a little more extra and I was the only person who did a podcast where the entire time I'm chained, I'm handcuffed to my guest. Yeah. I was like, I don't know how many people would go for it. But we're friends, I know. so it's easier. It's fine. I I feel the same way when it comes to podcasts, and I think that's why I have almost all the equipment I need for a podcast, and I've had it for like a year now. And for whatever reason, it's just I haven't done it. But there was a podcast I used to absolutely love, and it was I forgot what it was called. I think it was called Free the Girls at first, and then they changed it to like something girls after dark a podcast that you had or listened to yeah claudia walsh oh i love that podcast and then they were like i actually met devora and i asked her about it and she goes well we just kind of ran out of things to talk about because it was just them and i no matter what they would have said i would have sat there and listened to it because i just loved them so much but it's having different people on the podcast and like talking about different life events or whatever like that's very I mean, critical, I feel like, for the longevity of it. Because they can do... There's plenty of influencers. I don't know if you noticed, but ones <laughs> I've seen, they'll do a podcast for, like, a season or two, but then they just stop because it's like, well, they've talked about everything they wanted to talk about. Yeah, and that's my thing. Like, I don't think... I don't think my podcast or my content is special because of me. I think it's special because of my friends. Well, people follow you for a reason, and they want to know about your life, too. They right. want to know about you, honestly, like, going out and drinking. Yeah, they want to like see Because that's what I like seeing. Yeah, like, I just want to hang out with someone. That's all. Yeah, I just want to talk. Yeah, that's it. Like, I wasn't planning on having any repeat guests for a while. But then after I saw how, like, good some of my friends were on camera. Yeah. I was like, I don't need to constantly be getting new people. I can use, not use, that's a bad word for yeah. it. Yeah. But, like, I can have... Sign the contract now. Sign the contract, big boy. <laughs> I can use the same people because they're my friends and they're good on camera. And well, I like talking to them. we have such, like, a big friend group, too. Yeah. And everyone is interesting. That's why we hang out to, with them. And they all do their own little thing. Like, yeah, we... we a few of us influence here and there. Here but, and like, there. what we do is so completely different. Yeah. So, and JoJo, I mean, like, he does Disney. You don't. <laughs> yeah, this thing, like. You can't. <laughs> yeah, there's certain people, like, JoJo's, like, not going to let me put him on camera drinking all the time. Yeah, like, even, yeah. like, right now, like, we just showed up to this hotel because all our friends got a room. The plan is we're all going to, you know, go pregame, go to the concert together. But we got a hotel. We have a hotel room for our friends. Like, that's the yeah. kind of, like, friend group we have. And people are interested in And they in that. openly and willingly invite us to it as well. It's not yeah. like they just do that for, like, a couple people. It's like, no, you can meet us at Universal. Maybe we'll talk. No, it's like they're always so open and welcoming. I never had that back home. I didn't I either. never had friends like that. Like, I had a very, a few very close, like, best friends. But as far as a friend group, I did not experience that until I moved here. Yeah. And it's interesting because I think, I think there's definitely a difference between some friends who are just, like, party friends and going out friends. Yeah. And some people who are, like, like, you and me are, like, very close. Like yeah. We, you and me could go tanning. We're drinking now. But I've, have we ever really been drunk together? Because at your birthday, I wasn't drinking. Oh, right. And then usually at, 
I feel like the couple times we have been at Cowboys together, I wasn't drinking. Yeah, you're always you said sober. something about me not yeah. doing it. I'm not always sober now, but back then. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a few times you were there. We, like, never. I don't yeah, think tonight, like I'm, tonight I'm your first night. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Can't wait to vlog. <laughs> You're gonna see it. You're gonna get to see it all. It's gonna be crazy. And last time we were, we went to Universal. Neither of us were drinking, which was like no. two weeks ago. Oh. Yeah. And speaking of drinking, I've got a question for you. Okay. Uh, listen, I've got this list. It's it's like shower thoughts, but I call them podcast topics. I like that. Okay. I was thinking about this because listen, you know, I've had girls come over and cuddle. Mm-hmm. And I've had my shirt off, and I don't know why I thought about this recently, but Kevin came. <laughs> <Did you know? laughs> Sorry. What? <laughs> Kevin came the to Universal. was hopping around back there. <laughs> Kevin, yeah, that guy. <laughs> Kevin came to Universal the day wearing like a tank top. And he was like, yeah, like, sorry, I got here late. Like, I was shaving my armpits. And I was like, huh? why'd you do Did that? You swim? Like, what? Right. And he was like, well, like, I just think it's gross. Okay. And I was thinking about it and I was like, I agree to a certain extent. Like, I think when you have a, like, a bush under your armpit, like, it's gross. So then I started thinking about that with chest hair and, like, when girls, like, oh. cuddle with guys, like, when they're putting their head down on their chest, like, do they care? No, not really. I mean, I think it just depends. Uh, of course, it just depends on the girl. But hmm. when you're in, like, su- and, you know, let me be honest, I'm not in that situation often because it's only you know, <laughs> people I care about. But, yeah. like, if you're in such an intimate situation such as that, uh, you're not thinking about things like body hair and imperfections that like you see but the other person would never even notice interesting interesting i don't i don't i don't really notice that that type of thing so no i mean unless it's like a super duper hairy dude <laughs> which unless i like don't think Bigfoot. any guy i've ever like have have been with has been like a super hairy guy <laughs> so what if what if everything was shaved like would you notice um yeah, probably. Hmm. If, like, his armpits were shaved, I would notice that. Right. Armpits are shaved. Chest is shaved. I would just assume he's a swimmer. Because swimmers, they shave every... I used to swim. Well, I'm a girl. But, like, they would they shave their legs. and Really? Yeah, because it, it helps with your timing. You glide through the water better when you don't have any hair on you. Huh. That's why you wear swim caps. You ah. probably wouldn't have to. But <laughs> That's so... What are we doing here? I've swam without us like one time when I was swimming. Is this kid carrying alcohol? It does look like I think he's. I th- this is what I've always thought. Like most parents probably do. Like when they have kids, they're like, "Perfect, I now have a runner." That yeah, would be me. Hey, no, kid, no, but don't give him coke my no, drink. I'm, I'm just kidding. Maybe in my own house, but like that kid was carrying like two no, shots of tequila. Yeah, there's like three limes in there. Hey, maybe he's celebrating. Give me one. No. <laughs> Hey, kid. Yeah, I swam one time. My my swim cap came off when I was swimming, and it slowed me down. Like, it was insane how much I was slowed down. So, yeah. Interesting. Because, you know, I've been thinking about uh, auditioning for... You've seen, like, Big Brother, The Challenge, Survivor. Survivor? I (gasps) really want to go on one of those shows. I love Survivor. I think this season is one of the best seasons. I hated last season. It was terrible. I've never seen it. I've only seen The Challenge. Oh, my God. I love Survivor. I was thinking about it because all my friends were like, oh, you should go on, like... Too out to handle or like no. Love Island. No. And I'm like, if I go on a reality TV show, like I don't want to go on one that's just about like girls and hooking up. I want to do something that like I'm actually interested in. Yeah. And like I grew up all my life being an athlete, and I'd like I would still consider myself an athlete. You just saw me jump. What I was did it? see. I did watch that. You jumped <laughs> like t- ten feet in the air. I'll put a, you flew. I'll put a clip in of like how high I jumped. It was not the exact video she saw. I was over at Brittany's house and. Brittany had out on FaceTime, and they had this, like, gym. And I just stacked these things up. I didn't – I thought that Brittany was recording. Like, <laughs> and I, I was video. even on, like, FaceTime. I said, he probably thinks you're recording right now. <laughs> but then Clown. apparently Brittany had flipped the camera and was showing Allie. <laughs> I did the jump, and I walked in. They both were stunned. I didn't think you – I was like, he's going to fall. He's going <laughs> to fall. Let him do it. And then I almost started screen recording. Oh. I what was I thinking? I wasn't, I wasn't thinking straight. Dang it. I wasn't thinking about content. I should Shoot. always be thinking about content. We got we to get you ready, man. You're not I ready know. for the big leagues yet. I'm not ready for the vlog tonight. Gee, yeah, I'm not either. Speaking of that, let me double check the cameras real quick. Make sure we're still on. Uh, uh, I'm not going with you. Uh, Don't be while, while I'm gone, you can talk about if you're into handcuffs or not. If I, Not really. You think Should you ever leave? would be? No. I went out with this guy, 
and it was distance. It was long distance, very, very long. And we kind of talked about the idea of, of stuff like that. And I yeah. never tried it before. And I was like, I guess I'll give it a try. And then I tried it and I didn't like it. There were some, some parts of it was like, okay, not, n- not all of it. I didn't. I feel like if you're good, you don't need stuff like that. That's just to spice it up. But in the beginning, you don't need that. Hey, mom. <laughs> wow. That's so, not true. so not a fan. No. Well, this is why I was telling the chat. Man, I, I love was people. telling them that I feel like when you, this is how I feel. Like I haven't, I, I don't know. When it's good, <laughs> you don't need that stuff. When it's good. When it's good, it's to spice it up. Now, some people who have those kinks, like I get it, it that's the end all be all for them. But for me, I don't need. I've. Now with this guy, he was the worst I've ever had. Really? He was the the. Let me ask you a question. Worst. A very personal question. What What is the difference between some a guy being good or bad in bed? I'm waiting for these people to pass. <laughs> I you can tell when a guy watches. You can tell by the way that they act. It's a performance for them. Oh, like they're trying to replicate. And I know every guy does, but you can tell when they're like, when they watch it and they're like, let me. And they think that's what they should be doing. Yes. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. So I think for me, it's like, oh, do you actually like really want to be here doing this? Do you like, like me at all? Or is it just you, you feel like this is what you should be doing? doing That's because really you're like single and like just want to hook up with a girl yeah no you you can tell you can always tell huh you can also okay this is just a me thing but i i know that i am in the minority when it comes to this i already know but i prefer a guy to be experienced so i'm not talking about like i feel like that's not a minority in the in the triple digits of but i also don't care about body count whatsoever really no i don't I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to know. But, like, I do not. What's in the past is in the past. But I like a guy to have some experience. I think that's the thing a lot of people get confused. They think that, like, higher body count means more experience. Not. No. Well, not if you're just doing the same thing every single time. Right. Because, like, a guy could have, you know, only, like, a couple yeah. bodies. but Or a long relationship. And but like, they're a long relationship. Yeah, so it's like you understand do. what you're doing more. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I feel like the best, like, guys I've been with have been, like, after a long relationship. Right. I mean, it makes sense that they they were with a girl for long enough. They know exactly how yeah. to please her. Yeah. It also depends on the person. Like, because, I mean, this ain't, that's not really for me. In, yeah, everyone's different. In the boom, boom room. But, <laughs> the boom, boom room. you know, if you were with a girl who was like that and you find another one that's like that, I mean, you're set, dude. Yeah, that's that's the real goal. You're set. If anything, I mean, us girls, it's just proven facts. It's in our biology. We're more emotional and more into connections. Fully. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't hook up with guys. Like, I, it's just not what I do. I, it's yeah, not. same. So, like, if, unless I really, really like someone. And at this point, I'm not even, like... I'm not just doing one night stands anymore either. Yeah, no. Like I've learned my lesson with that. I've done it. I'm mm-hmm. done with that. Listen, I'll give I you need a connection. I need to like be dating the person at this point, not in a relationship, I, but like I need, we need to be dating for at least like two months. For yeah. Me to even I'm consider. the same way. I told some, I finally was able to explain this to someone. Cause like, I was like, my thing is I'm been single for so long that I kind of like turned down like my sex drive. Yeah. So like, it's just when, not worth it. Yeah, so like What's when I point? do meet someone, I can't like immediately be like, "Yes, let's have sex." I have to like, no, I need the emotional stuff. Like, there so, has to be some kind of like actual connection there. Yeah, that thought doesn't even enter my mind anymore. Right. Like, unless I am emotionally invested into a person, because I've I I know how how the story goes. It's like you do it, and then you don't talk anymore, and then it's like it's bad deal, bad deal. Literally, what was the, there was no point. Like, it was fun, probably, but. I don't want to, and I don't want, oh man, this is how, oh my God, this brings up love is blind. Oh. This brings up love is blind. Oh. How I was so anti Chelsea, and I, I like I like Chelsea now from what I've seen. <laughs> like, I'm not talking shit about her, Me but Megan the fact Fox. that she brought up 
that Jimmy and his one of his friends had hooked up before. No, I, that was so crazy. That was wrong. It was wrong. And I'm sure she probably maybe realizes that now. And everyone has an opinion on it. Yeah. But we don't know, one, when that happened. It could have been when they first became friends. Mm-hmm. Or maybe they got just got drunk and it happened. Like, we don't know how it happened. But, two, like, these are real-life people. And she never asked for that to be shared on the Internet. And I don't want, like my sex life being shared like that so I if would. i hook up with someone like i don't want them talk i don't want the no, it, we just don't it never needs to be talked about yeah it's or bragged about and i think i used to be like a very open person about stuff like that like and it wasn't like a bragging way it was just I, i'm just a very open person but then i realized like like when people would tell other people i'm like dude i don't like this like i don't like my business being out there and no, not just my neither. business, but the girl's business. Mm-hmm. I'm like, she didn't ask for this. She doesn't deserve this. So I'm like, I've scaled it way back. Just yeah. like, you. I'm like, I don't want it out there. Now the whole world knows that. It's too. crazy. And like her friends and her family and who knows if she's dating someone and they're like, oh, like hooked up with one of your best friends. Yeah. Like you never know how people are going to take that news because like I said, me being in the minority, I'm like, oh, it's in the past. And like, you know, if I feel something sketchy, then... Then, then, yeah, it's, it's then issue, I'll be like more, but for the most part, I'm like, oh, they're they're friends, and like I don't, I'm not gonna. <laughs> hello. Here comes another helicopter. <laughs> um, My ride. But yeah, to to finish on a <laughs> a high note. Uh, no, like what are we even talking not, about now? And not even finish because we're not gonna. Oh, speaking of finishing. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've had I gotta this, go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I have this idea. For, I've always, have you, let me ask you this. Have you ever wanted to do a soft launch, like when you get in a relationship or a hard launch? No. Okay. Well, I want to do a soft launch. No. Be- basically, because what we were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Ali mentioned this thing to me about how people want what they can't have. So. It's true. I've been a victim to this. <laughs> yeah. So, like, when someone posts that they're now in a relationship, that's when more people start to hit on them. So I was like... Yeah, let me clear my name real quick. Oh, you go ahead. Yeah. I just want to make it known that there was a guy who I like thought was really cute when I met him. And then I never reached out to him. I think he like heart reacted to a few of my posts. I didn't know what that meant at the time. Hmm. This was like last <laughs> year. I'm just a, a late time. bloomer. So I never like reached out to him. And then I saw he a couple months later had a girlfriend. And I was like, <laughs> I missed my chance. Didn't, did not act on it whatsoever. So, okay, I'm not a home wrecker. I want to make Ooh. that clear. But I was like, damn, now he has a girlfriend. I'm going to be waiting for them to break up. Right. And then I'll, I'll sweep in. And, yeah. Yeah, so I get it. But I, me as a, I don't know. I think I just, I've always loved the idea of being in a relationship. So, and especially for, like, just the aspect of like getting to show off my girlfriend. Just like I feared the cameras went off. You didn't miss much though. All we talked about was soft launch captions. Yeah, so I didn't miss much, but uh, you did miss the fact that we're not going anywhere. Oh, After this, it's the vlog, so don't go anywhere. And uh, I'll leave you with this. Go ahead. Life is not a waste of time, and time is not a waste of life. So let's stop wasting time, get wasted, and have the time of our lives. Cheers. Cheers. Should have been my senior quote. <laughs> I didn't drink back then. Same. Teen drinking. It's very bad. Yo, I got a fake ID, fake ID though. Oh, no. I can't open it. Oh, no. That's the hardest part. Yeah. Open it. No. Bro. <laughs> Ali, Ali, I got you. I got you. Leave your mouth there. Leave your mouth there. Ow. Wait, wait, guys. You turn it the other way. Okay, ready? Ow. You fucked up the tap. Hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 put your mouth back on it. Ew. Oh, hey, yo, Let's keep it hey, moving from hey, night until morning. Hey. You're too cute to be by yourself. I'm doing a Whoa. podcast vlog. Oh, but you can't podcast keep, I thought, vlog. I thought podcast, you can't see like videos. Like, well, like, you would think, but I'm doing something new. He's gonna, put yeah. the, he's gonna put the quote on there, and he's gonna have like the, you know his face over it. I'm changing the game. Changing the game. At the gym, I'm gonna say like a quote on the top. That's right. It's gonna be one of Britney's messages. He's gonna be like, uh, what is, what is? Wait, are you sending this to Britney? What the? Oh. Hey, yo, oh, oh, wait a minute. Get that away, get that away. We don't, You're right, we don't dude. want that. That's, yeah, not for the kids. They gotta pay for yeah. that. Chill yeah. out. Jeez. Uh, not for Britney. No. Not for the Patreon? No. Oh, oh, oh wait, hold on, pause. Can you turn back? Um, this Patreon's coming soon. So make sure you guys, you know, go to that. It's good lighting on but, you guys. Right? I know. 
Should we take the glasses off? <laughs> Answer the. Oh, uh, well, don't do that face. That's crazy. You don't like her. What's going on? They start singing. It's not her birthday. <laughs> Whoa, Jonah's got us doing a thumbnail. Oh, Look at this. Shit. Everybody's. We got everybody out here. Unbelievable. Oh, Offer oh, oh, JoJo. Are we get, is anyone getting paid for this? No. No. I don't mind. Roll out. Meow. Oh. Oh. Meow. 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 No, not meow. Are you? No. Meow. We gotta get there. Meow. 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 We gotta get there. We gotta get there. Yeah, man. How you feeling? Yo, happy to be alive. Blessed. Hashtag blessed. Every day is a blessed day to be alive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're out here in Universal. Don't film minions. It's illegal. Mardi Gras shark. <laughs> Am I okay? I'm amazing. Are you gonna save the night? Well, where's Alley Cat? Where is Alley Cat? Alley Cat! Where's Alley Cat? Well, who would have thought? Where will we end up? Guilty as charged. That's your cue to like say where we're at. That we're at Wawa. At Wawa. Late night Wawa oh, run. We're not even done yet. Yeah, <laughs> that's the crazy thing. We're still going. Usually we come here after. <laughs> we're here early. Huh. But we're still going to another bar. And we might come back after again. We might as well. I'll be hungry then too. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> gotta love yeah. Wawa. Yeah, gotta have a Wawa. There you go. <laughs> In two minutes, it's Gretchen's birthday! <laughs> Green is her favorite color and everyone's wearing it. I'm here. I'm not even wearing green. <laughs> He's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Good word. It's green. Word. Word. It's green.